ship this damn truck. How are you getting a ship? <laughs> On a truck. We'll have to find out right now. Getting this thing started is going to be fun. Should I try? Let me, uh, let me the box. Always know how to start the car. Number one thing. How are you going to lift the car? You don't know how to drive. You don't know how to start. Don't, don't put that in. <laughs> No keys because I have money. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Russian guy do that with the Phantom. I was like, yo, can I have the keys to pull it over here? No. No money. <laughs> no. You, you know, if they if they come over here and all they need is a chauffeur license, that qualifies them for a CDL. Damn. That's why all you right. see so many of them. Oh, God damn it. It's a lot. She's alive! This is so sketch. What does anxiety look like? This is the definition of anxiety. Wait, wait till you get up here. Yeah, that's anxiety. Bad decisions about to go down. Very, very bad decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a process this one's been. We've been working this guy for about two weeks. Had to move every single car out of the showroom in order to get this thing out. Um, this thing has been an absolute pain in the ass, but we're happy to see it go to a good customer out in Dallas. Hope he enjoys it. Hope he knows how to park it, because we don't. Um, super excited to see this one leave. Uh, a little bit sad, because it's a little bit nostalgic. We've had it in the showroom since my first day and his first day, and uh, we're just excited for new beginnings for this thing and uh, to see something good happen with it. Right. Line up the car. Yeah, we got to smoke a cigarette. You guys smoke a cigarette. Fire it up. Fire it. I'm okay, the cigarette. Only one. Yeah. I'll share one with them. Share one. I guess we're smoking pulses. So, what do you got to say about the truck, man? So, when you're loading a truck this size, you need to make sure you're under height and you're under width, and you have to have the right type of chains and straps to. Uh, to transport a truck like this, otherwise it could break while in transport. Uh, it takes several people to help you load it because you can't see over the hood. And uh, also when you're driving down the road, you have to make sure you're not over high. That way you go into bridges and not tear the top of it off. Yep. Uh, it takes a lot of planning to, to haul them. And if anyone wants to size. haul their truck, what's, what's your company? So. I work for DBI Trucking and Transport. I'm the owner. My name's Chad Isaacs. Thank you, Chad. The phone number's right there if you want to call me. I run nationwide. What state has the best lot lizards? <laughs> He's north. got an old lady. Don't get him caught up. The further you are north, the... They got better lot lizards up north. Yeah. 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 More of them. Yeah, we'll check them out up there. It's more of uh, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, <laughs> People uh, 
<laughs> you forgot to mention too, anytime you're loading something up with propane, always spark up a dart, right? Yeah. <laughs> also, when you have a propane powered vehicle of this size and nature, do not smoke around it in case it has a leak. <laughs> or do not be using a cutting torch around it. The truck's in good shape, it looks good, and the guy's probably going to be very happy with it. I wish I had. This car is out of here, uh, 1,400 horsepower, uh, done by 316 Speed Shop. They are actually down the street from us, very good shop. Um, this car has so many mods, I'm sure we'll list them on the video, but going out to Hefner Performance for a quick inspection, and then heading to Boston to our client who is going to uh, enjoy this car. So yeah, lots of fun. 1,400 horsepower. What's up guys? Uh, so this is a pretty exciting month. Uh, by the way, best driving car, Eurus, daily driver. Uh, this is an exciting month. Uh, this will be our biggest month here. All right guys, so really exciting month. As I said, this will be a record breaking month, which uh, is gonna be amazing as we've only been here for less than a year. So wanna show you guys some of the inventory we have. Right now the showroom's a little bit empty. So if you wanna, uh, sell us your exotic, sell us your Porsche, your Ferrari, whatever that may be, uh, please contact us. But starting off with the 2015 uh, Porsche 911 GT3. This car is really special. It's a uh, paint to sample Riviera Blue. Uh, paint to sample Riviera Blue on the roll cage. Has carbon bucket race seats, carbon fiber hood. Has the extended wing in the rear. Uh, just awesome car to drive. Uh, we just got it in last week and I think we're working on two deals right now on this car. Um, this car is really difficult to sell because it's just one of those cars that we can't replace. So part of uh, the agreement and contract we made with the buyers is uh, at some point whenever they do decide to sell, we get first right of refusal. That way we get this car back at some point. Um, so gonna be really sad to see this one go. Um, next to it here we have the 2022 911-992 Turbo S. This car is also special. It has a $75,000 tech art kit. This one will be staying local. Um, so we'll be seeing that car again. Um, 
Over here we have a uh, new acquisition. Uh, this is a 21 uh, G63. This one's in Arabian gray. Uh, very nice color, very similar to a Nardo color. Uh, also has red interior, so just super, super cool car, very clean. Uh, we got a Urus, we got another uh, G Wagon. This one's a G550 final edition. So, as you see on the paint, this is factory. Uh, very, very nice. And other than that, Everything else is leaving, so we'll be buying more cars. We have more cars coming in, bunch of cars left, so we'll be showing you guys uh, all of that stuff. But um, yeah. All right, so down here we have uh, Ferrari Avenue. So starting with everybody's favorite car, the Ferrari 458. Obviously, it's naturally aspirated. A lot of people are starting to merge onto this car. So uh, if you're looking to buy this car as an investment, this is a great car to do so. Uh, they hold very well and they're actually going up in value so close that they're almost the same price as the 488. So this one is leaving us soon. It's going to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, next to this, we have the Ferrari F12. Uh, I think this is a very good investment. Uh, these cars have been holding out very strong for the past couple years. So if you have your uh, chance to grab one of these, I would do so. Very good investment. Nice spec as well. It is black, has satin PPF, uh, has ADB aftermarket wheels or AD1, whatever it is. Make sure you correct me. A uh, bunch of carbon inside, just awesome driving car. Uh, next to that, we have the Ferrari F8. This is also an amazing car. This car came out right before the SF90. Um, just badass car. It's basically a 488 on steroids. Uh, you see some changes with the hood, uh, the steering wheel, and a couple other little things. But other than that, uh, same car. Um, next to that, we have our two Ferrari F430s. This one we have a pending sale on, so this will be leaving us soon. Next to that, we have our convertible spider. Uh, I don't know the name of this blue. I'm sure we'll put it on there, but very cool, unique color. Super clean car, drives great. Uh, and I think it's one of the best priced ones we have in the showroom. I think we're selling it for 108,000, so hurry up and grab that. And now we're going vintage. We have the 1995, 97? Seven. 97 uh, Ferrari 355. This car is really cool. I sold this car about four and a half years ago. Um, I bought it when they were literally at the bottom of the market. I sold it to the buyer, told him they were gonna go up in value, and sure enough, these have skyrocketed. Uh, you can find these in the 100 to 130 price range. And it's gated, that is a big deal. Some of these come uh, with the F1, some of them come gated, so, um, I think this car right now is, is a perfect time to snag this up. They are still undervalued, so if you have your opportunity to grab something uh, gated in that older Ferrari era, go ahead and do it.